Hello everyone, Trasher Dan here, well, I hope you're doing well today. So, in today's video I'm going to be doing what I had initially had planned for my Halloween video, however, the package hadn't came. Uh, today is Monday the... Monday the something, Monday the 4th. Monday the 4th of November today, I was hoping this would have came a week ago, but uh, postage wasn't great and so it came late. So, uh, yeah, that's why there's no... It, yeah, it wasn't ready. Uh, but it is here. It is... Uh, I can't show you, can I show you that side? Uh, yeah, there's this here, which is like, like a customs declaration. Um, so yeah, that's basically about it. But uh, I, I know what this is, and there is a story behind it, which I'm gonna very quickly tell you about uh, for a bit of fun. Um, so very quickly before I uh, begin this, I wanna thank, uh, as always, my patrons. Uh, this was actually bought for me by a patron who have said to me that they enjoyed the other videos that I'd done involving similar things and they said, can you please do another? And they actually uh, sent me the money over and said, can you please do that? So I did. And I just had a message come through. Unfortunately, I have to keep my phone on during this video because I am on call. So if it goes off, I do apologize. But internet's turned off, it's just texts. That one can be responded to later. So yeah, uh, this was bought for me by a patron, a uh, huge thank you to you, and uh, I hope that you will enjoy this as much as you did the last one. Um, I'm not taking it off, I've got fruit flies in here. Also, little note, uh, down, I think it might be down here somewhere, there is a thing that says power director. Uh, the reason for that is because I have only, I had my laptop back yesterday after being off for a couple of weeks, repairs, it broke, uh, and I, Obviously, I've, it's had a brand new hard drive. I've lost all of my software. I've got to wait for the um, the code to download PowerDirector 16 Ultimate, and then I can put my key in, and then I can continue using, uh, you know, my my software. It's either that, or we're going to spend like another hundred quid to buy the new software, which I don't see the point in doing because what I have works great anyway. So this down here won't be here forever. It's just until I get my software back, and until. I have got that back. I will not be doing any African videos because that will ruin those videos majorly. So, yeah, Power Direct is great, but I don't want them advertising on all of my videos. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. Okay, then, so what is in this bag? Well, I know what it is. Um, basically, um, I have lots of people who send me links to say, Dan, you need to order this, you need to order this, and I just don't bother because they're dreadful. However, um, on this occasion I have, and this is from Wish. If any of you, you know Wish, then you all know that you buy products that look amazing, and what you receive is genuinely terrible. Um, and this, I hope, is that. Um, so, a little bit of, I guess, probably a little bit of a spoiler as to what it is, but I actually have two of these already. The first one looks like this, which of course, is the costume that I had to wear for one of the first Inverse shows that I did with uh, Inverse Show UK and Lee said, Dan, go and put this on and I hadn't seen the costume and I went and put it on. I think I have a Facebook of me, uh, Facebook, I have a picture of me and Lee in the toilets because I was refusing to come out of the toilet wearing it and he came, took these like photos and then was like, right, off you go. And uh, so I went around dressed in this costume and it was absolutely terrible. And of course, he ended up um, sending me this about a year ago now in the £1,000 mystery box. So a huge thank you uh, to Lee for that. It was it's hilarious. And I do have to still wear from time to time, like for videos like this, it's, it's just for a bit of fun. It's really, really good. I do have another costume that looks like this. And this, of course, is the one that I bought from Facebook. Um, it doesn't fit very well. It's really badly made. You can't zip up the back at all so this one's terrible um i do actually wear um a spider-man costume at the in at the inverse shows uh, no doubt next week on the 17th of november when i'm at the southern show for inverse shows uk a card up of last year's southern show um or the playlist for the show please check that out come this year if you're able to do so but i do have a costume there and that one's actually pretty good however What's in here is probably going to be worse than this. Oh, I'm just trying to trying to stretch it out a little bit and say it doesn't doesn't zip up properly. Yeah, 
this will hopefully be a good idea, um, a good, uh, will give you a good idea as to what is in this bag. So what I'm going to do is, I have some scissors at handy. I'm going to open this whilst wearing this costume, which I bought off Facebook, and is, uh, like I say, it is absolutely rubbish. I'd never grow out in this. Um, and then we'll see what's in here. And for anyone that might be wondering why I have bought this, um, over here, I'm going to put up some pictures of what the advertisement actually look like. You can look at this costume. This looks, you know, I mean, I'm going to, this is like the best costume ever. I'm going to look like, like Spider-Man in this, you know, just absolutely amazing. I can do all the poses and I'll probably gain like parkour skills just for wearing this. Um, and I look through all of the photos and I think the last two photos then look like this. And this is what made me think, you know what, I'm going to buy this because it's also reduced in price. It was £232 reduced to the low low price of £14, uh, which I thought that's that's a bargain, you know, it's <laughs> too good to pass up on that. So I bought the costume. Uh, one thing I am impressed about, oh, that's wrong. I thought I'd think it, is that it is actually black, which is good. I, I bought the black one, Halloween black, scary. Um, oh, it's, okay, this actually, doesn't look as bad as I thought. The only thing is <laughs> the eyes are actually just, if I just sort of show you, they it's just, it's just like a clear, see, like a clear, um, like a very fine mesh. But overall, it doesn't look as bad as I thought. I'm actually disappointed. I hope that this would either be really, really good or absolutely terrible. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna take this off first, of course, because I can't wear them both. So I'm gonna quickly, get changed and put the black one on and then we'll see how good it looks and uh, who knows I might wear this at a future show I probably won't but you never know um, but size wise it looks pretty good so let's although I'm quite slim and this looks like it's going to be really really tight although people do keep saying I'm getting a bit fat to be fair it seems sort of quite baggy in the legs really really long but the waist is like the waist is ridiculous my god <laughs> she's gonna bury me i actually measured myself for this um so that it would be hopefully perfect but this feels like 10 sizes too big This is like some kind of crazy, like, budget gimp costume. <laughs> the zip. The zip isn't very good. Oh, it smells as well. This has definitely been made in like a sweatshop somewhere. Thank you to whoever's made this. But it does zip up. Oh, okay, so this is the first time wearing it. I have zipped it up. But the zip's actually broke. So, that wasn't really very good. I mean, yeah, it's the same problem as the other one. It's like, it's like twisted. If you look at like my arm, like you look at the color, if I have it in front of me, it kind of, the lines sort of go around to underneath. Horribly twisted. The eyes I can see through pretty good, but then at the same time, I don't know, I don't think it looks that good to be fair. But for 14 quid, I can't grumble. Um, let's say my plan was, My plan was to wear this on Halloween, um, but it didn't come in time, which is a real shame. I mean, this is actually, you know what, joking aside though, I would, if you weren't for the zip, I'd wear this just for a laugh, to be fair, just for like a joke. Like, yeah, you know, like if I was like sat around the house playing like Call of Duty or something like that. Um, but 
maybe in a future live stream I might wear this or you know if I decide to get a little bit like kinky then this might be like instead of like a, a leather like gym suit like this is going to be like someone's sort of thing I don't know in all seriousness this is why you don't buy from Wish or Facebook ads like I bought this knowing full well um, because like I said I, I had this one from I had this one from uh, from Facebook and I knew it would be basically the same kind of thing I don't know, it's just really derpy and you're gonna see the the angle of, of the hand it's just, it's just like the bottom the bit uh, I'll hold it this way like this is this one's a pinky finger <laughs> look how big that is <laughs> it's like it's like the pinky is like this big on it and then yeah uh, it's just it's just terrible I mean I suppose if you've got like if you've got young children then these costumes are probably quite good to be fair but if you are after actual Spider-Man costumes to wear at shows or conventions things like that this costume is not what you're after this costume is not what you're after and this costume again is not what you're after the only good thing about this one is that the face is, is all in one I do like that uh, I do like that you can actually see through these eyes really really clearly um, the ones that I wear with the show um, which you would have seen some footage on earlier on but I'll replay it now um, I'm actually with um, Adam, Col Adam Colony um, I was with him and his, his wee lad and uh, I can't literally see a thing I, I can see like a, a foot or two in front of my face I'm walking around and I'm like giving people sweets and they're like you've already been to see me I'm like I don't even know who you are I can just see silhouettes of people and I'm like here have some sweets so um, yeah not very good but I will be hanging this up and he will be joining my other costumes on the back of my animal room door for uh, future reference who knows I might, there might be a time where I need to wear this just for a bit of fun Maybe I'll do a live stream, maybe I can get like Dan and Steph or my brother to come round and we all wear like really terrible Spider-Man costumes or something like that. Don't know. But uh, yeah, this video was just for a little bit of fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please don't forget to check out the annotations that will be on screen. Of course, subscribe if you aren't already. Feel free to uh, you know like, share my content. And uh, thank you to my patrons. I hope you have enjoyed uh, seeing me wear this really ridiculous costume. And thank you for watching everyone. Take care. Have a lovely day. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Goodbye from everyone. Take care. So I'm trying to get this off. I didn't realise there's actually two zips. So there's one for the actual Spider-Man costume. For the, the mask part, which I didn't see. Which is there. But then there's one on the back, but that's sort of getting knotted and is getting stuck. <laughs> I can't get out of it. <laughs> Don't have to run around to my neighbours and say, hey, can you give me a hand? I can't get out of this costume. How am I going to get out of this? I can't feel because of the... I can't feel because of the gloves. And I can't get my arms out. This is too high. Terrible.